Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss exponential function. So mainly it's about how to sketch the graph for the exponential function. So by referring to the f inverse equals to 10 to the power of x over 2 minus 1 over 2. So the basic idea is we have to refer to the power, okay, 10 to the power. If the power, the coefficient is positive, then our graph will be towards the right. Okay, so if the coefficient of the power is negative, our graph will be towards the left. So in this case, the graph is positive. So our graph will start from bottom, okay, shifting up or moving up, okay, to the right. So that is the basic idea. So basically, we need to separate them into several graphs. So the basic graph will be y is equal to 10 to the power of x, which is the exponential function. Okay. So for the exponential function, basically you have a horizontal asymptote. Okay. So which is a y equals to zero. That is our basic. Horizontal asymptote. Okay, since the power is a positive, so meaning that our graph basically will be like this from the left bottom moving up. So that is our basic graph. Y is equal to 10 to the power of x. So if you are interested, we need to find the intercept. So how to find the intercept? So when x is equal to 0, so when x is equal to 0, so we will have y equals to 10 to the power of 0. So our answer, y will be equal to 1. So from here, the coordinate or the intercept will be 0, 1. So here will be 1. That is the basic graph. So next, I'm going to sketch y is equal to 1 over 2 multiply with 10 to the power of x. So basically, are still the same, okay? The asymptote still the same, okay? Y is equal to zero, okay? So we need to label it. So the graph will be the same in the shape. So still moving from the left to the right. Just that the Y in the shape has become different. Why? Because the thing multiply with 1 over 2. The value of y multiply with 1 over 2. So we will have 1 over 2 as a y-intercept. Or based on calculation, when x equals to 0, y will be equals to 1 over 2 bracket 10 to the power of 0. So from here, our y will become 1 over 2. So the coordinate of a y-intercept will be 0, 1 over 2. So, as I mentioned earlier, so y will be comes to 10 to the power of x over 2. Next, we are going to shift another graph, which is y is equal to 10 to the power of x over 2 minus 1 over 2. So, observe here, what kind of thing, what kind of thing minus with 1 over 2? Actually, is the value of y. Why I said this one is the value of y. So previously, we let it become y. So now, we have to shift downward the horizontal asymptote because y minus with 1 over 2. So previously, the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. So now we have to shift downwards the y. So it becomes So it becomes y equals to negative 1 over 2 from the 0. Okay, so everything has to shift downwards. Okay, shift downwards. So what we have to do is to find the intercept. So when x is equals to 0, we will have y equals to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2. So our y will be equals to 0. So the interception point will become the origin because everything shift 
downwards so this will be the intercept so basically our graph will be something like this okay so finally f inverse is equals to 10 to the power of x over 2 minus 1 over 2 okay so the domain for the f inverse will become negative infinity until infinity kindly refers to the value of x left and right so the range for f inverse will become the value of y so the minimum value for y is negative 1 over 2 and the maximum value for y is a positive infinity so basically that is the transition that is the way how we sketch the graph for the exponential function so here we are and thanks for watching